Hi class, Brother Dixon here, um, making a, a screencast for you. I just want to say thanks for reaching out and asking uh, for me to make one of these to help you out on some of your problems this week. So um, this problem that I'm going to work out here comes from exercise 2.2 part A. Um, it's number 8 as you can see here on the screen. Um, just kind of a little hint slash suggestion, I would really familiarize myself with this type of problem. Um, not so much exactly the numbers and the answer, but just the method that I'm going to go through. It would be really good to know this for in the future. Um, <clears throat> you'll probably see something similar to this on a quiz or exam in the future. So uh, keep that in mind. If you don't understand how to do this, make sure maybe watch a couple times, ask people in your gathering, make sure you understand how to do these. Um, so let's just jump right in and, and get started here. So um, this problem I like because it's it's a unit conversion like you guys asked, but it's also a word problem, and so it kind of throws all kinds of fun loops into it. So um, what I'm going to do, so it says, how much does it cost to run a 700 watt microwave for 17 hours if the power company charges 12 cents per kilowatt hours? So when I look at this up here, I kind of pull out the info that I have. There's 700 watts, 17 hours, and I get... Um, uh, 12 cents per kilowatt hour and that's all you know as far as numbers that's what I, I've got to work with so then I start saying okay so what do I start with so I'm gonna start with um, I start with my 700 watts so I start in units of watts and what do I want to end up with well this you know it's asking me how much does it cost to run this thing for a given period of time so I want to end at the bottom I want to be in dollars so I got to figure out some way with the information that's given that I'm going to go from watts to dollars. Okay, so let's go ahead and lay this out. Um, first off, I noticed that um, there's something in the pro you know cents per kilowatt hour. Well, I'm only in watts, and a kilowatt is similar to a watt, but it's just a different. Um, it's on a different scale in the metric system. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a unit conversion of my 700 watts. And I'm going to get that into kilowatts. So the way I do unit conversion, I learned this like in my chemistry class in high school, and I've just always used it, and I really like it. He called it goalpost. So you set up your goalpost. And this is really helpful in the future if you get into chemistry and any other higher-end science classes where you've got to do crazy unit conversions, um, and you have multiple things being multiplied by each other and things being divided. And what it is is when you set up the goalpost, everything on top, it's multiplied by each other. Everything on bottom is what you divide by. So in this case, um, I want to convert watts into kilowatts. I want that to be on top. So I say, okay, well, how do I get rid of watts? Well, in order to get rid of watts in the numerator, i got to have a watts in the denominator. So then I think, okay, is there some sort of conversion bef between watts and kilowatts? And there is. There's 1,000 watts for every one kilowatt. So now if I cancel out the units, so watts is canceled out because it's in my numerator and it's in my denominator. And all I'm left with is kilowatts, which is good because that's what I'm seeing over here, this 12 cents per kilowatt hour. So I take 700 and I divide it by 1,000 and I get 0.7 kilowatts. So that's good. So I've got kilowatts now, but I'm still not to my dollars that I have down here, right? Well, I see that this is 12 cents per kilowatt hour. So if I write that kind of down down here, if I set up my my goal post, no, I won't do goal post for this one. But um, so if I say, you know, dollars, I have this 0.12 dollars per, meaning that it's divided by kilowatt hours. I say, okay, well, if I want to get in just dollars, I need to multiply by a kilowatt hour to get rid of that. Um, I need to multiply by something that's in kilowatt hours. And that would then cancel this out, leaving me with dollars. So I'm like, well, I've got 0.7 kilowatts of what my microwave runs at. And, well, it runs for 17 hours. Really heating something up. I don't know who's running a microwave for 17 hours, but I guess that could be over the period of a year I'm not sure <laughs> um, anyways so I'm gonna say okay well if I take my 0.7 kilowatts and I multiply that by my 17 
hours, that's going to equal, let me type it in here, 11.9, 11 11.9 kilowatt hours. And the reason why nothing canceled out here on the kilowatts and times the hours and they just kind of get combined here is because, you know, I didn't multiply by anything. There was no denominator, so nothing canceled out. So they kind of, they just have to lump together and you have this funny unit of kilowatt hours. This would probably, this looks familiar if you, when you look at your electricity bill, everything's always reported in kilowatt hours and it's how the company charges. So now I come down here and I say, okay, now I've got, 11.9 kilowatt hours. Oh, well, that's what I needed to know. I needed to know how many kilowatt hours. So I can fill that in here now. 11.9 kilowatt hours. So now my kilowatt hours are going to cancel out when I multiply these two. And I'm going to get just my dollars. So when I multiply those, and then I get 1.43 dollars. And that's what I wanted. I wanted to go for my 700 watts up at the beginning down to dollars. I had to do a little unit conversion to get my watts into kilowatts and then I had to multiply these together. The way I kind of knew to do that was because I saw that I I needed to multiply something in the end here by a kilowatt hour in order to cancel it out and get just my dollars and then that's how I ended up with that. So um, anyways I hope this has helped. Uh, if you have any further questions or didn't understand something in the explanation, feel free to reach out. I'm always happy to, uh, to try and clarify and to help you guys out. So if you've got another question on a different problem, feel free to comment here in the, uh, um, in the lesson questions, um, and I'll get back to it as soon as I can. Okay, thanks. Have a good night.